Hi, I'm Roselle with Farmer Ground Insurance and in this quick video, I'll help simplify the insurance needs of a roofing contractor. Now, insurance companies view roofers as high in risk. Think about it. A fall from a one-story job could cause serious injuries. Property damage may occur when installing a roof and not to mention a sudden thunderstorm while working on a roof that is not topped. These examples could be very expensive for an insurance company. That is the reason why roofers will generally pay more for the insurance than what a painter or an electrician would. Now, here are the three main types of insurance you will need as a roofer. Number one, general liability. This coverage is for any damage that your work may create when working on your client's property. It covers personal injury to third parties and can also cover you in the event of a lawsuit. Now, attorney fees are incredibly expensive and most business owners cannot afford to pay it from their pockets. This is when your insurance kicks in. We recommend you getting 1 million in coverage with a 2 million aggregate. This is the most common type of insurance and we strongly suggest against getting anything lower. Now, there are certain exclusions for a general liability policy for roofers. And it's very important to know these exclusions as they do not offer coverage in certain instances. There are four main types of exclusions. Open roof exclusion. Some policies have an open roof exclusion. This means there is no coverage if a loss occurs while working on an open roof or when the trusses are exposed. Heating process and heat tool exclusions. This exclusion does not offer coverage while working with heating processes and tools such as torch down or hot tile roofing. Exclusion for properties over three stories. Now, as you can imagine, the higher the work you perform, the more risk it involves. This is the reason why some policies have this exclusion. Property type exclusion. Now, this is a common exclusion that does not offer coverage when working on certain type of properties. These properties could be condo association, churches or very large properties. If you do any of these type of jobs, it's important that you make sure that you have the right coverage on your policy. This is when cheaper is not always better. Number two, workers' compensation. If you have employees or use uninsured subcontractors, you will be required to have workers' compensation. It is rated based off of your payroll and the type of work they perform. Now, if you don't have any employees and only use insured subcontractors, you can have an if any policy. It's very, very important that you always collect certificates of insurance from your insured subcontractors and keep them on file. Number three, commercial auto. If you use your vehicle to carry tools and equipment to job sites, you will need a commercial auto policy. Your personal policy excludes business use. Now, the pricing is not that much more than your personal auto, but it offers much higher coverage levels and you could qualify for a tax deduction. These are the three basics of what your business needs to be sufficiently covered. Now, if you need to speak to a live agent or just have more questions, feel free to give us a call at the number below. Our experience working with the roofers means we'll get you the best possible coverage with an A-rated company. I hope this video helped to simplify your insurance needs. Thanks for watching.